Hello friends, in this video we will go to discuss about generation of AM waves using square law modulator. It is nothing but generation of amplitude modulated wave using the square law modulator. Here this is the block diagram of square law modulator. In square law modulator we have mainly four types of blocks or mainly four parts is there. First one is message signal. This is the message signal or modulating signal. We know message signal and modulated signal both are same that is X of T is the message signal and in series with the X of T carrier signal is connected that is C of T and the both combination of X of T and C of T is given the input of the non-linear device. This is the non-linear device. Non-linear device is, is nothing but this is the diode or any other transistor. Okay. Diode is a non-linear device. That's why we need to keep diode here. Next. The output of the non-linear device is V2 of T and after the non-linear device we have here a tank circuit. Tank circuit or tuned circuit or this can also act as a band pass filter and after the band pass filter we have the output V0 of T. This is the circuit of the square law modulator and let's see how the square law modulator is work and how it can generate the AM waves. First here see message signal carrier signal as connected in series and v1 of t is the both combination of message signal and carrier signal v1 of t is the combination of message signal as well as carrier signal and this both combination is applied to the non-linear device this is the non-linear device and the output of the non-linear device is v2 of t and this v2 of t is applied to the input of the tank circuit this is the tank circuit okay this is the tank circuit and the output of the tank circuit is V0 of T. This is the block diagram. Now let's see how this block diagram will work. First, V1 of T. What is V1 of T? V1 of T is equal to X of T plus C of T. Both this combination is nothing but V1 of T that is X of T plus C of T. Here observe. Input of non-linear device. What is the input of non-linear device here? Here input is V1 of T for non-linear device that is V1 of T is equal to X of T plus C of T. Here observe V1 of T is equal to X of T plus C of T. Consider this as the equation number 1. Okay. Next here observe the output of the non-linear device is V2 of T. The output of the non-linear device is V2 of T. And we have one relation between the V1 of T and V2 of T. This is the input of the nonlinear device and this is the output of the nonlinear device. We have one relation between the input output relationship of nonlinear device that is V2 of T that is output of the nonlinear device is equal to A into V1 of T plus B into V1 square of T. Here A, B are constant and this is the relation between the input and output of nonlinear device. That's what I write here. See, observe. The input output relationship of nonlinear device is V2 of T is the output of the nonlinear device equal to A into V1 of T. V1 of T is nothing but input of the nonlinear device plus B into V1 square of T. Consider this as equation number 2. And here, where A comma B are constants. Okay. Now, substitute equation number 1 in equation number 2 then this is the equation number 1 v1 of t and substitute the value of v1 of t that is x of t plus c of t in the equation 2 then we get v2 of t is equal to a into here v1 of t a into v1 of t v1 of t is nothing but x of t plus c of t that is a into x of t plus c of t plus b into v1 square of t what is v1 of t x of t plus c of t x of t plus c of t whole square okay now multiply a with this term that is a into x of t plus a into c of t okay plus b into this looks like a plus b whole square here a is nothing but x of t plus b is nothing but c of t a plus b whole square is nothing but a square plus b square plus 2ab first a square that is x square of t plus b square c square of t plus 2ab 2 into a x of t plus b into c of t okay 
now next step is a into x1 of t a into c of t b into x uh, multiply this b with this expression then we will get b into x square of t plus b into c square of t plus 2b into x of t c of t okay this is the v2 expression v2 expression nothing but output of non-linear device expression here consider <coughs> in the above equation a into x of t is message signal we know x of t is a message signal and a is some constant uh, suppose consider this constant is 1 then x of t is a message signal that is a into x of t is a message signal next a into c of t we know c of t is a carrier signal now consider the, uh, this is a constant then a into c of t is equal to carrier signal next x b into x square of t b into x square of t is nothing but x square of, x of t is the message signal and x square of t is nothing but square of message signal okay next consider b into c square of t equal to we know c of t is the carrier signal and c square of t is nothing but square of the carrier signal and the final expression is 2b x of t c of t here we have both carrier and message signals that is 2b into x of t c of t is equal to side band okay you know what is side band let's consider this this is the amplitude wave modulation waveforms this is the message signal and this is the carrier signal and this is the modulated signal in the modulated signal we have two side bands here observe this is the one side band this is the one side band and this is this one is the another side band that is in amplitude modulated wave we have two side bands and carrier remember this point in am modulated wave we have only side bands and carrier there is no message signal okay this is one side band and this is one side band and in between the side band this is the carrier okay now consider that this is the 2b into x of t c of t is the thing but side band and v into of t is nothing but what is v2 of t v2 of t is nothing but output of the non-linear device now here consider we find the v2 of t and v2 of t is applied to the input of the band pass circuit this is nothing but tuned circuit tuned circuit is also act as band pass filter okay this is the band pass filter it eliminates the unwanted components unwanted components means the components which are not used for generation of am signal that are nothing but unwanted components okay here observe here observe in this equation what are the unwanted components we already seen a amplitude modulated signal this is the amplitude modulated signal in amplitude modulated signal we have only side bands and carrier that means only side bands and carriers are the wanted components and the remaining all are unwanted components here observe here what is carrier a into c of t this is the carrier and where what is side band 2b into x of t c of t this is the side band and this is the and this one and this one this two this one and this one these two are useful components and b into x square of t is nothing but square of message signal b into c square of t is nothing but square of carrier signal a into x of t is nothing but message signal these are the unwanted components now we apply this v2 of t is as the input of the as the input of the tank circuit v2 of t is the is applied to the input of the tank circuit then this tank circuit eliminates all the unwanted components here observe unwanted component is nothing but a into x on of t, x of t next b into x square of t next b into c square of t are unwanted components only we want carrier and side band si carrier is nothing but a into c of t side band is nothing but 2b into x of t c of t this only we want that's why that band pass filter only passes these two components a into c of t plus 2b into x of t then our output equation output equation will be like this consider v naught of t is equal to it contains only carrier and side bands carrier is nothing but a into c of t plus side band is nothing but 2b into x of t c of t okay now consider a 
ये वाट इज सी एफ टी सी एफ टी इज नथिंग बट कैरियर सिग्नल वी नो कैरियर सिग्नल सी एफ टी इज ईक्वल टू हियर सी एफ टी इज नथिंग बट कैरियर वी नो कैरियर मीन्स ए सी इंटू कास ओमेगा सी टी ओके ए सी इंटू कास ओमेगा सी टी इज नथिंग बट कैरियर ना वो सब्सिट्यूट इन प्लेस ऑफ सी एफ टी एज ए सी इंटू कास ओमेगा सी टी दट इज ए सी इंटू कास ओमेगा सी टी प्लस टू बी हियर सी एफ टी मीन्स ए सी इंटू कास ओमेगा सी टी इंटू एक्स टी एक्स आफ टी ओके दिस इज द इक्वल एंड रिप्रजेंटेशन ऑफ दि अबो इक्वेशन ना टेक कामन एज ए सी ए कास ओमेगा सी टी इन दिस टू इक्वेश देन अवर इक्वेशन विल बिकम लाइक दिस ए इंटू ए सी कास ओमेगा सी टी आफ वेन एवर वी टेक इन दि काम आफ दिस एक्सप्रेशन देन विल गेट वन हियर वन प्लस टू बी In this expression, we don't have any a term. That's why we need to write a as a denominator. That is 2b by a into x of t. This is the x of t, and this is the final expression. Now we need to compare this final expression into our standard amplitude modulation expression. If that, if this expression is matched to that expression, then we can say we are created or we generated a. amplitude modulator wave by using square law modulator now compare the above equation with standard am equation we know standard am equation is nothing but ac cos of omega ct into 1 plus ma into x of t here observe here a is a constant remove that and ac ac okay next cos omega ct cos omega ct into 1 plus 1 plus ma into x of t Here in place of m f m a we have two b by a. In place of m a we have here two b by a. That is here m a is nothing but modulation index m a into x of t. Here m a is equal to two b by a. And our final expression in square law modulator is nothing but v naught of v naught of t is equal to a into a c cos omega c t. That is a into a c cos omega c t into one plus two b by a. One plus two b by a into x of t, and the above equation is the output of this square law modulator. This is the output of this square law modulator. Hence, we can say this square law modulator can generate AM waves. This is about generation of AM waves using square law modulator. I hope you have understand. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.